Okay, now we're logging in the very first time through the browser. Um, we're using dapnote.local in order to go there. Um, it pre-fills in the admin um, as the username. So let's write that down. Oh, there's a typo in access anyway. Username admin, and then we come up uh, with an amazing password. You gonna come up with a better one, please. Type it into the browser and register. It comes up with a recovery token. We copy paste that as well. You should use a password manager, not just a file anywhere on your machine. So first time we're logging in, uh, now admin, and we put on the password we just defined. And it wants us to do some um, sort of first setup steps. Here are the, the clients. These are the so-called um, uh, execution layer clients. And for now, we're gonna leave it with a remote. We're gonna have the full node later on, but uh, so that it doesn't interfere with the installation process, we leave it as remote uh, for now. And then later on, switch it to, to full node. And the light client is somewhere halfway in between. I'm not quite sure, don't worry about it. System updates, yeah, let's turn it on. It's always good to be up to date. And uh, yeah, here the user guide, uh, that goes into a broken side because of, uh, yeah, not sure. Well, anyway, someone else to look at that. Anyway, don't go there. So now we are in the dashboard and the dashboard is where we always uh, sort of come back to and see if everything's working fine. So first it wants, wants us to, um, yeah, set up the Dapnode Wi-Fi credentials, which uh, enables us then to uh, log in uh, through the, the Dapnode's own Wi-Fi. So let's come up with an SSID, inconspicuous one, and write it down in our text file so we don't forget it. My amazing Wi-Fi, let's say. Again, I have not used these credentials or passwords for mine, and you shouldn't do either. Come up with something else. But here we put it in. Another another one, exclamation mark. Oh, what was it? Change password. And once it has updated it, and we are refreshing the browser, we see, yeah that it's happy now with its green ticks. Okay, uh, it can happen that it flashes uh, up there. These are the notifi notification here. It tells us there's a new DAP Manager version. Unfortunately, when we click here, it uh, breaks. That's because we're still accessing it uh, differently. Um, but that's gonna be fixed later on. Here's another way to access it. Sorry, that was a bit quick, but you can stop the video. And here, uh, just uh, say update and let's speed this up a bit. Right, and after that's been done, uh, the system packages, let's have a look whether it's the right version now. Yes. Okay. So here I'm just flicking quickly through these uh, points there, maybe you know, it's quite interesting to have a look at it. And you can pause the video again. The guys in the Discord channel, they help me out a lot. They are amazing. And here, uh, UPnP. This is something we have to do in the uh, firewall, in the router. You have to go into the router. I'll show you later on how to do that. But quickly here, um, under advanced settings, there's UPnP, and then you just have to make sure it's enabled. But anyway, I'll show you in more detail later.